If you've come across a rock that looks positively out of this world, there's a possibility it may be a meteorite. Although meteorites are relatively rare on Earth, they're not impossible to find in the wild. However, you'll want to make sure your find is indeed a stony or iron rock of cosmic origin and not a piece of ordinary terrestrial material. By checking for common visual and physical markers of a meteorite, you can determine whether the rock you've found is actually extraterrestrial in origin. If the rock you've found is a freshly fallen meteorite, it will be black and shiny as a result of having burned through the atmosphere. After a long time spent on Earth, however, the iron metal in the meteorite will turn to rust, leaving the meteorite a rusty brown. This rusting starts out as small red and orange spots on the surface of the meteorite that slowly expand to cover more and more of the rock. You may still be able to see the black crust even if part of it has begun to rust. The meteorite may be black in color but with slight variations, for example, stilly bluish black. However, if the rock you've found isn't at all close to black or brown in color, then it is not a meteorite. Contrary to what you might expect, most meteorites are not round. Instead, they are typically quite irregular, with sides of varying size and shape. Although some meteorites may develop a conical shape, most will not appear aerodynamic once they land. If the rock you've found is relatively normal in shape, or is round like a ball, it may still be a meteorite. However, the vast majority of meteorites are irregular in shape. As rocks pass through the Earth's atmosphere, their surfaces begin to melt and air pressure forces the molten material back, leaving a featureless, melt-like surface called a fusion crust. If your rock's surface looks like it has melted and shifted, it may be a meteorite. Flow lines are small streaks on the fusion crust from when the crust was molten and was forced backwards. If your rock has a crust-like surface with small streak lines across it, there's a good chance it's a meteorite. Although the surface of a meteorite is generally featureless, it may also include shallow pits and deep cavities that resemble thumbprints. Look for these on your rock to determine both if it's a meteorite and what type of meteorite it is. Although craters and cavities on the surface may indicate that your rock is a meteorite, no meteorite has holes in its interior. Meteorites are dense pieces of solid rock. If the rock you've found is porous or bubbly in appearance, it's unfortunately not a meteorite. Meteorites are solid pieces of rock that are usually densely packed with metal. If the rock you've found looks like a meteorite, compare it to other rocks to ensure it's relatively heavy. Then calculate its density to determine if it's a meteorite. Nearly all meteorites are at least somewhat magnetic, even if only weakly. This is due to the high concentration in most meteorites of iron and nickel, which are magnetic. If a magnet is not attracted to your rock, it's almost certainly not a meteorite. A streak test is a good way to test your rock to rule out terrestrial materials. Scrape your rock against the unglazed side of a ceramic tile, if it leaves any streak other than a weak grayish one, it is not a meteorite.
Most meteorites contain metal that is visibly shiny under the surface of the fusion crust. Use a diamond file to file a corner of the rock and check the interior for telltale metals on the inside. Most meteorites that fall to Earth are of the type to have small round masses on the inside known as chondrules. These may look like smaller rocks and will vary in size, shape, and color.